friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. And today is probably the scariest of all of the spirals. I'm going to show you how to do the four color spiral. Just keep going in a circle in a circle and keep going and keep going. Or I'm going to give you the option to turn it into a granny square. So you can see these fun colors. Pick four colors that you like. Pick four colors that don't go together. It doesn't even matter because it looks so fun. This was my favorite one. And there's my obnoxious one. You know how much I love these neon colors and I like to have pink. Evie picked out this because she loves purple. So look at how different they are, but how fun they are. This would make a great sweater, a great bag, or you could keep right on going and with your spiral and make a throw. You can keep going. I'm going to give you all the math. So you can do it and follow along and keep increasing and making it bigger than this all on your own, I promise. So let's get started. We're going to use Karen Simply Soft today. So I have Dark Sage. This is Pistachio or Pistachio. And uh, Off-White and Autumn Gold. I thought that would be a nice spiral and they, they should all complement each other and still show up on screen. So we're going to make this into this using nothing but this. I'm using a four millimeter hook because I want the size, but you can use whatever yarn you want and whatever the uh, suggested hook is on your label. And you want four stitch markers, one for each color. So you pick one of your colors, doesn't matter which one, you're going to make a magic circle. If you don't remember or have never made a magic circle before, I have a two to three minute tutorial that shows you how to do it the easy way, really fast and really easy. And I'll show you here really quick. We're going to hold our yarn, do an X here, go under, grab the back one, twist, grab, and pull through. Easy peasy. Look at that magic circle. Alrighty. So in our magic circle with color A, this is a pistachio, we are going to do a single crochet and mark our stitch. And then we'll do a half double. And then two double crochets. One and two. And that's all we need of pistachio for our first round. So we're just going to pull up a loop so we don't lose our four stitches and move on to the next color. Whatever color you want it to be. This is just off white. All right, so we're going to go back into our magic circle. There's our green, our pistachio. We're going to go back in with our next color. Fasten on and do the same. So we do a single crochet, mark that stitch, a half double crochet, and then two double crochets, all in our magic circle. One and two. So there's round one of color number two. Right there. So this is the messiest part right here at the very beginning, but I promise it's all going to look really pretty in just a minute. All right, so do the same thing with the next color you grab. So I'm going to grab my dark sage, which is a nice deep, deep green. Again, into our magic circle. I'm going to fasten on. A single crochet in our magic circle. So there's our single crochet and then we have to do a half double crochet and two doubles. So we're getting four stitches with each color for round one in our magic circle. All right, so there's three of four. We want to do one more set with our last color and here's my autumn gold. So again, in our magic circle, fasten on and do a single crochet uh -oh. 
whoopsie, I forgot to mark my green one. I'm going to go right here and mark it while I can still see it before I tighten. Ooh, good safety tip. One, two, three, there's my fourth stitch. Awesome. All right. Hoofta. So there's my single crochet. And then a half double. And two double crochets. One and two. So I did four stitches with each color in my magic circle and I know it looks kind of messy like an octopus right now, but it will all be very pretty in just a bit. And I forgot to mark that one too. One, two, three, four. Mark that first stitch. That part is very important. There we go. There's our little pinwheel. So now remember we started with our pistachio, so we're going to close our magic circle now. Just give that a nice tight tug and there we go cute little pinwheel so now I'm just going to turn this back around so I'm back to my pistachio we're going to start with this try to start with the same colors each time then you'll remember how many rounds you've done All right, so this is the first round is done we've got 16 stitches here and round two it's a little bit different than the two color spiral and the three color spiral. So just pay attention and it'll be easy peasy. In our first stitch we want to do an increase. Two double crochet. One and two. And then move our mar stitch marker and mark that first stitch that we did. So one, two back. The next stitch is a double crochet. And the next stitch is an increase. So that's two double crochets in the same stitch. And leave this very last stitch right here unworked. We will not be using this one in this round. And that will happen for all the colors. So there's part one of round two. And we're going to turn and go on to our off white and do the exact same thing. In our first stitch, it's marked with blue, do two double crochets, so we'll do our increase. Just like all the other ones, we started with an increase. Mark the first stitch that we made, which is the second stitch back. The next stitch is a double crochet. The next one is an increase, so there's two double crochets in the same stitch. And now we are done with round two for beige. Leave the last stitch right here unworked. Pull your loop up so we don't lose it and move on to the dark green. And repeat our first stitch that's marked in pink. I'm going to take my marker out. Marked right here is an increase. two double crochets in that same stitch. Move our stitch marker back to the first stitch we just made, which is two back right there. And the next stitch is a double crochet. And then we will do one more increase, which is two doubles in the same stitch. And then we're done. Remember, we're going to leave this last stitch right here unworked. Pull our green loop so we don't lose our stitch and move on to our last color. This is our fourth color of our four color spiral. Alright, so we do the same thing. The first one was an increase. So there's two double crochet in the first stitch. Now we're going to move our marker to the first stitch we made with this color just the second one over. The next stitch is a double crochet and the last one will be an increase of two double crochets. And again, leaving this last one right here unworked. 
So there you go, there's our start. Looks kind of like a butterfly. Really cute. So we're just right in here. And that's how quickly it worked up. It's kind of big already. Isn't that neat? Pull up our loop so we don't lose it. And just turn this back to get back to our pistachio. Pistachio. Round three, we are going to do another increase in this one that we didn't work before. The two double crochets. Move your stitch marker to the first stitch we just made. We made two, I want to go right here. And now in between our increases we are going to have three double crochets. One, two, three, and then another increase. So there's two double crochets in the same stitch. Again, we did not work this last stitch. This is the easiest way to keep count so you can keep right on going. So this one was an increase, three double crochets in between each increase. Then we move on to color number two. So in this stitch right here, it's right before our marked stitch, it's the one that we didn't work last time, we're going to do an increase. It's two double crochet, one and two. Take out our stitch marker and mark the first stitch that we just made, which is two in. And then we'll have three double crochets in between our increases. Two, three. And then we do an increase, two double crochet in the same stitch. And we're done with that color. Leave this last stitch unworked. Just pull this up a little bit and move on to the next color. I'm going with the dark green now. And again, we're going to work into this stitch that is right before our stitch marker that we did not work last time. And now we're going to do an increase. Same as we did with the other ones. There's two in the first stitch take out our stitch marker and move it over to the first stitch we just made with the dark green. So that's two over. And in between our increases we were going to have three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And then we'll do another increase which is two double crochets in the same stitch. Pull up our loop and we're going to leave this last stitch right here unworked, just like we did with the other ones. Now we'll move on to our last color. This is color number four of our spiral. And just like we did on the other ones, the stitch right before the stitch marker that we hadn't worked last time is going to get an increase. One, two. And now we're going to go and mark the first stitch that we just made with that color. Three double crochets in between our increases. And there's number three. And an increase, which is two double crochet in the same stitch. Pull up our loop. This last stitch right here is unworked right before our stitch marker. And take a look at that. So easy peasy, I promise. Alrighty, now we're going to do round four. And you're going to catch this sequence here really quickly and go, oh, that makes sense now. This is great. I think you're going to be very pleased. So round four, we're going back to our pistachio and we're going to do an increase in this stitch that was unworked from before. So there's two double crochets, one and two. Take our stitch marker like we did before and mark the first stitch that we just made with that green. So that's two back. And now this time in between our increases we are going to do five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to do another increase. So 
So that's two double crochets in the same stitch. Leave this last one unworked like we did with all the other rounds. Pull our loop and move on to the next color. So again, we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. Our first stitch that's right here that we didn't work last in the last round is an increased stitch. So there's two double crochets in that stitch. We're going to remove our stitch marker and place it in the first stitch that we just made, which is the second one back. Five double crochets in between increases. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we get to do another increase. So that's two double crochets in the next stitch. Pull up a loop because we're done with that color and we're going to leave this stitch right here unworked. Just like we did last time. Move on to my dark green. The same idea. Exactly the same. In our unworked stitch is an increase. One, two, move our stitch marker to the first stitch we just made with the dark green. Five double crochets in between our increases. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to do an increase which is two double crochet in the same stitch. One, two. Pull up our loop so we don't lose any stitches. And this last stitch right here in the gold that we didn't work last time is unworked. Now we get to do our autumn gold. It's the last color in round four. So here we go in this stitch that we did not work last time. It gets an increase. Two double crochet. One, two. Move our stitch marker to the first stitch we just made in that color. There's the second one over. Five double crochets in between our increases. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we do an increase, which is two double crochet in the same stitch and pull up our loop and you can see there is still one stitch that is not used right there unworked and there's our spiral that was round four I'm gonna just turn this back so I don't tangle my yarn go back to my pistachio color and we're gonna work on round five in our unworked stitch is an increase we're always starting with an increase one two Remove the stitch marker and put it in the first stitch we just made with that green. And now this time we're going to do seven double crochets in between each increase. So you can catch that pattern there. We're going to do seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we did our seven, so now there's an increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. And pull up our loop, just like we did with all the others. And just like before, this last stitch is unworked. So there's part one of round five. So move on to the next color and do the exact same thing again. This first stitch that wasn't worked last time is an increase. So there are two double crochets in that stitch. Now we we'll take our stitch marker, mark the first stitch that we just did with that color, and in between our increases is seven double crochets for this round. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. And then we'll do an increase in the next stitch, which is two double crochets in the same. Pull up our loop because we're done with that color. And we will have one stitch that is unworked in the green, still right here, just like we did with all the other ones. All right, so move on to your green. Do the exact same thing. Your first stitch is an increase, then there'll be seven double crochets in between, and another increase. So there's one. Two. I want to remove and mark seven double crochets and one more increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After our seven double crochets, we have an increase, which is two doubles in the same stitch. Pull our loop. Last stitch is unworked. And let's move on to our gold, which is our last color in this round. The first stitch is, a is an increase, so there's two double crochets in the same stitch. We are going to move our stitch marker to the first stitch we made in gold. Seven double crochets in between our increases. And then we do an increase again, which is two doubles in the same stitch. Pull up our loop, one stitch unworked before we get to our stitch marker. So we're going to spin this back around so I don't get my yarn all tangled. And look how awesome that is. We have one more round. Okay, and now we're going to do round six. One more round. So in our first stitch here, always an increase right before, that was the unworked stitch that's right before a stitch marker. There's an increase of two double crochets and then I want to move my marker to the first stitch I just made with this green. And now if you can follow the sequence the number would be nine, right? We went one, three, five, seven, and now this time we're doing nine double crochets in between each increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then an increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. Pull up our green because we're done with green for this round and as usual there is one stitch unworked right there in our cream color. So we'll go back to our off white and do the same thing. Our first stitch is going to be an increase which is two double crochet in the same stitch. Move our stitch marker to the first one that we made with this color and nine double crochets in between each increase. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oopsie, eight, and nine, and then another increase, which is two doubles in the same stitch. Pull up our loop and one stitch not worked in the green, right there. Move on to the green. 
just keep working around in our, our little spiral here. Our first stitch that was the one we didn't work last time is an increase. One and two double crochets in the same stitch. Move your stitch marker. One, two. Nine double crochets in between our increases. next stitch we do an increase, two double crochets in the same stitch, pull up our green loop and we have one gold loop that is one gold stitch not worked right next to our loop. Now let's do the gold in exactly the same way so we can finish this round. Remember the very first stitch is an increase, move our stitch marker and nine double crochets in between increases. Eight and nine and then after our nine is an increase which is two double crochets in the same stitch and you pull up our gold one stitch unworked before we got to our stitch marker. So there we go. Isn't that just awesome? So for round two, there was an increase with one double crochet in between and then another increase. The next round three was an increase, three double crochets, increase. Next one was increase, five double crochets, increase. And then increase, seven double crochets, increase. And our very last one that we just did was an increase, nine double crochets, and an increase. That's the sequence that you want to use. If you want to keep this going and make it huge, the next one would be 11. The one after that would be 13. Just keep a tick mark so you know where you are so you don't have to do a lot of counting and make sure you use your stitch markers. You don't have to sit there and count all these. If you made this into a blanket and had to do a lot of counting, you'd be very sad. So just use your markers. Keep track on a notepad how many you did. So we're going to stop here. I'm going to show you two options. Right now we can stop and just end this. So I'm going to spin it back to my pistachio. So here's way number one. So with our first color, in this one that's not marked, I'm going to do a double crochet. In the next is also a double crochet. And we'll do a half double crochet, a single crochet, and then a slip stitch to end Then we're going to do the exact same thing with this color. Move over to the next color. Do a double crochet. And the next stitch is also a double crochet. And then a half double crochet. Single crochet. And a slip stitch to end. We're going to do that with every color. So on to color number three which is my dark green, my sage. There'll be two double crochets. There's the first stitch is a double crochet, the second stitch is a double crochet, third stitch is a half double, fourth stitch is a single, and then do a slip stitch to end your color. And we have one color left. We're going to do the exact same thing again. The first two stitches are double crochets. There's one and two. The next stitch is a half double crochet. The next stitch is a single crochet. And then we want to just do a slip stitch as number five and fasten that off. That's how you can just end this right now. And it's basically a square. Now if you wanted to make it into a granny square, so we actually have the little corners, I will show you that one next. So I'm going to spin this back around and I'm going to undo all of these that I just did. Go back to where we were.
right, now we're back to where we were. We are going to turn this into a granny square. So starting with our pistachio again, let's make it a real square like this with the real corners. Instead of just finishing it off like a square, we're going to turn it into a granny. For each of your colors, we want to make a corner. So it's three double crochet, one, two, and three, all in the same stitch. Chain three and three more double crochets in that same stitch. So we give ourselves a nice corner. All right then, after we did our corner, the next grouping is a double crochet. The next stitch is a half double. The next is a single and then a slip stitch. So now we're done with pistachio move on to the cream and do the exact same thing. We're going to make a corner and then finish off those last few stitches. So in the next stitch we're going to do three double crochet in the same stitch for our corner, chain three, and three more double crochets in the same stitch for a corner. And there's our corner. We don't need those anymore if we're ending off right now. So we don't need those anymore. So I'll just move those off the side so they don't make so much sound. There's our corner and then we have those next four stitches. One double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet, and a slip stitch. And then we're done with the cream or the off-white. Move on to color number three. Make a corner. Three double crochet in the same stitch. Chain three and three double crochet in the same corner again or in that same stitch again to finish our corner. So there's our little corner and then our last four stitches of this color is a double crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet, and a slip stitch. And we're almost done. We just have one more because it doesn't quite look like a square because we have to do color number four. So we make our corner which was three double crochets in the same stitch chain three and three more double crochet in that same stitch. So we made our cute little corner so there's our corner right here and then we'll do our last four stitches to taper this off which is a double crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet and a slip stitch. Now we have a spiral granny square. A four color spiral granny square. This is one of my favorites. I just love this. I think these colors are great. Very southwestern -y looking. Let's see, there you go. Easy peasy. Remember, in between our increases, the first one is one. And the next round in between increases is three double crochets. Then it's five double crochets in between increases. Then seven, nine, eleven. Keep going as much as you want to. Just keep track. You keep track and you can make this into a king size round blanket and impress everybody. Or you could stop now and just have a whole bunch of grannies. I think this would make a really cool bag or sweater or even just an addition to like a couple of patches here and there and maybe all of the other ones in solid colors, I think this would be awesome. But there we go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.